Hello, and welcome to this episode of Psychic Medium, Tony G. And I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium and Channel. On today's show, I have a very brave, willing participant, Sarah. She is going to get an on-air reading. Now, today is the first time I've met Sarah. Typically, my guests are people that I have met before, but this is our first encounter, so this is very brave of her. <laughs> and she's just going to be asking me questions throughout the next 30 minutes. Now, I have personally found that when somebody is watching the show or listening to the show, the questions that are asked, the answers that come through can somehow relate to those people who are watching or listening. So pay attention to the answers and see if they don't resonate with you also. Hi, Sarah. Thank you so much for being a guest and being so brave today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Sarah, during the next 30 minutes, you can ask questions about your life, your career, your finances, your family, friends. You can ask about uh, love, relationships. You can also connect with loved ones on the other side if you do so choose. And if you do not choose, you do not have to. If I answer a question, you can ask a follow-up question. If you feel like that wasn't enough information or you didn't quite, it didn't make sense. Now, some of the things I'll say to you will make perfect sense to you. They might not make sense to other people, okay? okay. So let's get started. What's your first question? Um, so, you know, I'm a teacher. Yes. Um, is there anything I can do to like help improve my career to be more successful in what I'm doing? Well, I, I'm going to say the first thing I hear is you're there. You're extremely patient. Even in those moments of total frustration, you um, kind of take that breath and you, you might get stressed about it, but you, you stay patient. And that's the number one thing that you need to do. They are saying finding an outlet outside or after work is like a really good option for you. They want you to consider, and if you don't want to do this, you don't have to, don't shoot the messenger <laughs> sort of thing. They want you to consider getting in a training program um, that has a physical aspect to it. So this can mean a cycling training program, a triathlon training program, a running program, something that will clear your mind and help you to release some of the day's stuff. Um, teaching, as rewarding as it can be, is just as frustrating as it can be, and not always with the students. Sometimes with, like, just the powers that be, the students can be sometimes kind of a cakewalk, but those powers that be and those influences that come in from above, sometimes, I don't want to say for you, but I feel like it is possible, they can make it a more difficult position, a more difficult job than it really needs to be. And um, they're saying have that physical outlet um, if you want to start training kickboxing. <laughs> Uh, just a little punching bag <laughs> might be very uh, gratifying for you in some ways. So that's the one thing they're saying. Have that definite, and don't just, don't just join a gym, don't just work out because that fades away. You definitely need a program that you're training that will give you a goal. You really need that, even if it's just a 5K, because, you know, we all get bored with our workouts. We all get bored with stuff. So they want you to be in training and have that goal because you are a little powerhouse. And once you set your mind on something, done, right? Yeah. So yeah. do that. And they're saying you used to be somewhat athletic, so you'll get it back right away. So just mm -hmm. go for it. You're going to really love it on a new level, Okay, if that makes sense to you. Um, I've been at the same school for the last four years now, going to my fifth year. Um, do you see any movement of me going to a different school or somewhere? Yes, I feel like this year you're going to stay where you are. 
but in approximately a year, you're going to have the option to switch. Now, this doesn't mean you're going to switch, but you will have the option to switch. And it, right as everything looks right now, it looks like you might take that option. Have you thought about some relocation? A little, slightly. Yeah, they're yeah. saying relocation, relocation. And that really is the only thing that could get you to change from where you are is if you literally relocated. So they're saying with this relocation um, is going to come the, the, there's the possibility of relocation and that looks good. There's a lot of sunshine behind that, a lot of brightness and goodness with that. And with that, there will be also the opportunity to transfer to a new school and a new district altogether, if that makes sense to you. I hope so. Yeah. So those relocation thoughts, pay attention to them because it's probably going to come a little bit sooner than you think. You might be thinking this is a move down the line. It's not as far out as you would think it's going to be. Okay. Oh, and I think I know why. Go ahead. What's your next question? <laughs> No, no, not yet. We can't go there yet. <laughs> um, I was going to move away from career, but... Um, yeah, this is not a career. Okay. The reason why is not career-based. Okay. Um, and say, what can you tell me about my friendships or social circle? Uh, let's be a little bit more specific about that. Um, is there someone in particular or a group in particular that you want to know about? Um, I've recently strayed away from one of my friends, and so just whether we should mend together again? No, not for a bit. It, um, f what I'm hearing, I, the first thing I hear is six months, six months, six months. Um, this is a hiatus. It's a long-needed hiatus. It's difficult to go through this hiatus, but you have to. Do not, they're being very firm about this too. <gasps> boom, boom, boom. When they give these messages, I always feel like, oh, I'm being so bossy, but it's really them, yeah. okay? Do not concede and do not try to rectify a situation that really was not caused by you and you did not have a lot of uh, push in. Let it lie where it lies until the other party figures out there and because it's TV stuff. All right. Um, okay. But it, in about six months, this person might reach out. They might reach out to you sooner, okay. but they need a good six month timeout. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> and then up, it's going to be up to you whether you decide you want to let them in. And if you do let them back in, the message I'm hearing is it has to be limited exposure. This person, although they are well-meaning, they can be a little heavy, downtrodden, or toxic are the words they're using. And like, who wants to bring that to a party, right? Yeah. Nobody, nobody yeah. wants to be bringing that to the conversation ever, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, what can you tell me about my romantic relationship? <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I get visuals that I really don't need. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hear there's a vacation coming up. There's a trip that's being, if it's not already planned, it's going to be being planned soon. Um, you guys are going to be taking like a pseudo vacation, even if it's just a weekend away. And then I see a bigger trip coming up. And what I'm seeing is this is my symbol for Florida or for um I see a cruise ship, and a cruise ship is always Florida, and that could mean literally you guys are thinking about going on a cruise. So I see a plane, and I see the cruise ship. So this is telling me this is a destination near water, and you might be even cut t taking into consideration that option of a cruise. I'm going to tell you there is a, like a weekend, like a weekend jaunt, a shorter jaunt coming up. Um, I hope that wasn't a surprise. No. <laughs> Excellent. <No>. Good. Because <laughs> sometimes I do that. Sometimes I just start talking. I'm like, oh, they did. They were not supposed to know that yet. Yeah. Um, the weekend jaunt is going to be very invigorating. 
Okay. <laughs> On many levels, it's going to reestablish some romantic connections. It's going to just be very positive and good for you guys. The one a little further out <clears throat> is going to be actually very, very good also. The one that is taking you toward one. Now, you are aware of both of these trips? Uh, the first one I'm leaving later this evening. Oh my we're going, gosh. We're going um, <laughs> canoeing and camping, so but with a group of friends. And awesome. So. See, there, yeah. there's spot on. Now the <laughs> yeah. other one, whether it's, I think, have you guys talked about taking this trip yet? Have you discussed the possibility of going uh, near, taking a vacation, I said the best way I can say this, near water or taking a cruise of some sort? Um, not yet, but my in-laws go on cruises and all the time. And we usually go like every other year and it's been a year or two. Yeah. Okay, so maybe it's next time. year we're going on. You're gonna go sooner than you think. So, okay. you know, put your pennies where they need okay. to be. Um, I don't feel like this is gonna be a financial stress. I feel like it's gonna be very, again, very invigorating. I feel like there's going to be a lot of camaraderie on this. I feel like it, and I do feel like I, I am seeing that ship again. And I'm just gonna tell you, I feel like, and I'm sorry, I'm looking over here. This okay. is where I see the visions okay. for people. Sometimes I do feel like this is gonna be just the most refreshing break and it's it is going to come in a little bit sooner than you think so start preparing for it just be ready for that last minute let's go okay it's going to be someplace i feel like you're going someplace new not someplace you've already been or even if it's the same uh, like area it's a new location in that area you're going to see new things this time so don't think oh we've already been there no 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 it's going to be completely different this time and say yes okay. always say yes to the travel okay, okay. excellent um, what will my life be like in the future with my husband it's you know that's a pretty big broad question so I'm just okay. going to tell you it's good okay. everything is um, looking very good. Are you guys working on children? Because this is the second time children, I'm seeing children and hearing children. Earlier when I giggled and said the relocation, yeah. uh, they were bringing up the children then also. So are okay. you guys actively planning a date or a time of having children right now? Not yet. <laughs> I have a ton of cousins and really close friends that are all having children right now. But <laughs> we're thinking two or three years in the future, not, <laughs> not, <laughs> we're not planning right now. <laughs> oh, those things we don't plan can be the best things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I am going to tell you if you are definitely not ready, like double up on stuff, make sure you're being very smart about things. Um, because I feel like within I want to I wanna say this. I'm not going to give you the date they're giving me. <laughs> I feel like within a year, which would go right along with that relocation thing. Now, within a year, you either are going to know or you're going to be like, okay, let's go. And I feel like that triggers the relocation to a space that might be more in the area where you want to raise children, in the environment where you want to raise children, a little further out. Are you actually, have you considered an out of state move? Um, we've talked about it a little bit, but I think that scares me because I want children in the future. And so I would do it temporarily until I had children and then come back to family in Wisconsin. Yeah, that might not be how it goes down, but that's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I feel like if you guys, you're going to have options here. Nothing is like you have to do this. I feel like go with the, the, the biggest message I can give you is go with the flow. Everything is going to work out beautifully for you. And you're going to, if you go with the flow and not try to force or push things, it's going to be a much easier journey for you and your entire family. Um, I, I just feel like there is the possibility of conception soon. Now, if you don't want that, you need to really 
be aware of that. Now, I will tell you, I have a sister who tried six different methods of birth control and has six children. Okay. <laughs> so when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Yeah. Um, I feel like this might, there's the possibility that this might come in sooner than you think or sooner than you think you're ready for. But I do know within a year's time, you guys are definitely going to, have, the conversation is going to change about from let's do it then to let's, it's happening now or let's do it now. And with that is going to come the relocation, with that is going to, it's going to kind of shift everything, okay? Okay. And I, I feel like you're going to be the one with baby fever. <laughs> I know. Maybe. Maybe. It's difficult to believe right <laughs> now, but you're going to be the one with baby fever, so get ready. Maybe. Yeah. Do you see a number of children? Like, how many children? It's, it's up to you. Um, you know, I say it's up to you, but then they show me, I see the possibility. I have to look at this closely. I'm going to say there's the possibility for three now, at any time in point, you could have more. And at any time in point, you can try to stop. Okay. So. Thank you. you know, is that, have you, yeah. does that number resonate with you? Uh, two to three, yeah. Yeah. See, whenever I say the number, the person is usually like, yeah, that's right where we it's, were thinking. Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, is there anything I can do, or me and my husband can do better um, to be more financially stable? Yeah, okay, so the first thing that they wanna say is that it's time to kind of buckle down. Um, you guys are pretty good at most things, but sometimes there are some, they're using the word eccentricities, like you might splurge a little bit here and there. Um, they're just saying, you know, within six, within six to eight months, you're really going to be buckling down again and be investing your finances in a new area and in a new way. Um, life in general is a balancing act to begin with. So having that perspective from it the moment we start to feel deprived about things is the moment we want to go out and splurge in those areas. Um, just feeling like, okay, we're not doing these eccentricities, instead we're doing this, is going to help you be more in balance. And the bigger thing is, I want you to know you have a lot of resources you're not using, they're saying. You have a lot of resources that you're not taking advantage of. And this might mean ways that you can put a little bit more aside in a different fund every single month or people offering resources to you, but you feel like, no, we can't take that. Like if somebody says, well, we'll pick this up or we'll treat you, you might be like, nope. That's not appropriate. We have to do it ourselves. You know, giving and receiving are equal parts of balance. So just remember that, especially coming in, I see a lot of resources coming to you guys and helping you guys out and knowing that you are going to have that help you need. You just have to graciously and gracefully, gratefully accept it and be like, it's okay if they do this. They love us. They want to be a part of it. Okay. Okay, and I, I just have to say again, I'm seeing like a crib, I'm seeing, I know you're gonna go home and be like, <laughs> off limits, <laughs> we're not ready, but I just, I'm seeing this stuff. And so they're showing it to me for a reason, so when they show me things or tell me things, I always make sure I share it. Yeah. So just be, pre be prepared, just in okay. case things happen a little bit more quickly than you had initially thought. And maybe that's why they're saying if there is the opportunity for the cruise this time, definitely take it because next time it might be a whole different beast going okay. on. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you see any health concerns at all in my future? So I'm just going to... Uh, 
look at you. The first thing that I hear, now health concerns for each of us are different. Um, and it depends on the age that we're in. You know, the, the first thing that they're, I'm hearing is be very proactive. I'm hearing there's right side, sometimes something on the right side, and I feel like it can be more in the hip or the, the hip and the back area on the right. Um, so what I'm just going to do, go ahead and clear that now for you. Okay. I don't know if you've felt that in the past, but they're saying that there's a possibility for that coming in. Now, have you felt that in the past? I yeah. have. Okay. So we're going to just clear this now. So you might feel some pressure. You might feel some tingling. You might feel energy literally moving through you. I can definitely feel it in my breath going out because I'm an empath also. So I feel I, when I'm clearing somebody, I definitely feel that energy going to and where it's going through. And again, it's all right side associated. So as this clears, just know it will go permanently. It won't come back. Um, one of the reasons they're pointing this out is because as you would go into that training phase, which you are going to probably go into, this would become very um, noticeable to you. So we're just going to clear that out. And this has a lot to do with you feeling um, grounded, secure, and we all, I don't care who you are in today's world, most of us have those issues with feeling safe, secure, like stable, financially, emotionally with our partners, all of that stuff. So a lot of this, especially to the right, um, has to do with that. And the right, typically, uh, if it was left, I'd say it might be some abandonment issues. I'm going to say, right, we want to control everything. We're trying so hard to control, like, that we're not doing this and we are doing that. We forget to just be and live. So the right can sometimes represent um, control. Mm -hmm. So right now, clearing that is going to help you kind of go with the flow a little bit more. And when we go with that flow, we can be definitely be in that space where things happen a little bit more easily and a little bit more quickly and definitely without struggle. Okay, so we'll clear that now. Um, other than that, right now, there's, there's a, there might be a little bit of a knee issue in the future. Be very proactive about that. Um, if you're going to be running, pick the right shoes, pick the right conditions. Don't overtrain at all. And uh, keep your head in the right space. Be very, very clear-minded and have those positive aspects coming. And remember, everything that happens happens for you, not to you. And you are loved than you could, more than you could ever imagine. Okay? Okay. Okay. Does that answer that? Well, that was kind of... Yeah. No. Okay. Next question. Um, is there anyone who has crossed over who wants to communicate at all with me? You know, I'm so happy that you asked that. I hope you recognize this person. I'm not always great at okay. describing people. But there's a woman standing right here. She is, she's the first pe person I'm seeing. She's thinner, or at least she was thinner. She's older, she's thinner. She has like that, her hair went white um, as she got older. I feel like she's either a grandmother or a great-grandmother. She could be an aunt, and if she's an aunt, it's definitely on your mother's side. I'm only seeing the side of her, and I'm seeing her, like, toward the end, she had lost a considerable amount of weight. She was very... Um, thin by the end and she's showing me herself in this way for a particular reason now because she was a little bit older and I'm feeling like um, her hair used to she probably used to like set set and curl or whatever they call that uh, with her hair because it, it is that white and it's more of that I'm sorry sweetie but that old lady hairstyle not like the the yeah. more mature women wear today but like our grandmas and great grandmas used to wear is that familiar to you? Possibly my grandma on okay. my dad's side. Okay, my she if it and I do feel like it is a, a grandma or a great grandma. And the first thing that she wants to say to you is that um, that there's so much love that you're not taking advantage of. Um, open your heart and let people in. You're a, a bit guarded. Um, 
and she just wants you to know that there's so much love here that you're not uh, resonating with and that so many people love you so much and you're you, it's not that you question that love maybe more like you think well they have to love me like oh they're supposed to love me they have to love me so you're not um, thinking of that love in the way that it's so genuine and how proud they are of you and how much they just they look at you with this this like a kind of this, I don't want to say awe, but like they truly do love you, but you don't um, get that all the time. And her next message would be, um, because you're going to be bringing little ones in, please learn to love yourself more so that you can teach them self-love no matter what is going on and no matter what happens. Okay. And I'm going to start clearing some of this stuff for you right now because okay. I don't, I think that is like if we, we, we're taught as kids that we can't be egoic and don't think too much of ourselves. And where's that line where we know what unconditional love is for others and ourselves? Yeah. So I'm going to help you by clearing some of that right now and putting you in that space where you can embrace that love and have that feeling and all of us are in that space and then the other thing she wants to say um, is to know that those on the other side are bringing love to you also and that you you do you sometimes have dreams about them or prophetic dreams because she's bringing up your dreams hmm. I don't remember many of my dreams well, I'm going to tell you she's bringing up your dreams, which tells me they come to you in your dreams and they work on you in your sleep. And that's the best place they can work on us because we can't fight with them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so those are the messages. I wish I had more time to give you so many more messages. And I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Okay. <laughs> and learn, learn that self-love and self-caring. And I want to thank you so much. You are such an amazing guest. And I'm so grateful that you were able to be here today and get this reading. I hope it was everything you had hoped for. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yeah, oh, absolutely. My pleasure, my honor everything um and thank you so much for joining us today this is my favorite thing in the world to do there's nothing else i would want to do because i believe that when we can connect with heaven the angels the guides and help people on this path it helps them be in that space where they understand life more easily and can do those things they're supposed to do thank you and have an amazing rest of the day mm -hmm.